kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for K Check. Hello everyone, I'm Gabby Concepcion, the attorney, not the artista. At ako po si Junella Bohr, and this is K-Check. Weeks of competition, questions and answers, teaching and learning. Paramihan, pabilisan, and pagalingan, it all boils down to this. Welcome everyone to the first ever K-Check Grand Finals. Dumating na tayo sa wakas no, sa pinakahihintay nating araw. Samahan nyo kami dahil ilang minuto na lang, konting tanong at sagot, Malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling kauna-unahang K-Check Champion. Huwag na natin patagalin pa. Kilalanin natin ngayon ang ating apat na finalists. Having come this far, they are all winners. Pero isa lang sa kanila ang pwedeng maging K-Check Champion. Sino ba sa tingin ninyo ang magiging champion natin? Will it be our soft-spoken film major Charlene? She almost whispered her answers, but her impressive rally was loud enough to make her our first grand finalist. Or it will be Asher, ang nag-akalang ang K-Check ay game show tungkol sa K-drama, but he survived an opponent's comeback attempt to secure his place in the finals. Pero malaki rin ang chance ng BS Chem student na si Hana, dahil kahit ang minor niya ay paggala, nakuha pa rin niyang daigin ang kanyang mga kapwa contestants to become our third grand finalist. And finally, BA creative writing student Tamara now has something to write about using her second shot at the competition to make it to the K-Check Finals. Of course, these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of our esteemed K-Check panel of experts, Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman, Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History, and Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin. Charlene, to the nearest whole number, how many kilometers is the Olympic Marathon? The correct answer is 42. Asher, in 2021, she won the Grammy Award for Record of the Year for the second straight year. Who is this female singer who had a concert at the Mall of Asia last August? Um, Oliver Rodrigo. Male. The correct answer is Billie Eilish. Hannah, what mineral is rated a 10 in the most hardness scale? Diamond. Okay, check. Tamara, which common Mexican flatbread from flour or corn is used to make an assortment of Mexican dishes? Tortilla. Okay, check. Charlene, also known as breakbone fever, what viral infection is transmitted to humans through the bite of the Aedes aegypti mosquito. Dengue. Dengue? K-check. Asher, not applicable to the Philippines. How is the legal dissolution of a marriage called? Of divorce. K-check. Hannah, what racket sport shares its name with a starchy vegetable? The correct answer is Squash. Tamara, which much hated leader was named Time Magazine's Man of the Year for 1938? Adolf Hitler. K. Check. Charlene, Captain Hook is the adversary of which flying boy? Peter Pan. K. Check. Asher, what does UV stand for if we are talking about light? and waves. Ultraviolet. Okay, check. Hannah, how many degrees is an angle that perpendicular lines form? 90. 90? Okay, check. Tamara, Honolulu is the capital of what U.S. state? Hawaii. Hawaii? Okay, check. And that's it for our first round of the K-Check Paramihan Round. <laughs> 
Talagang best of the best na itong round nito. Kita mo yung score sila, di ba? Dikit-dikit sila, pero siyempre si Tamara ngayon ang medyo angat ng konte, but not by much. Mm -hmm. And it's too early to tell pa, di ba? Correct. Oo, oh, oh. round one pa lang. Nag warm up pa lang yung mga yan. Speaking of round, uh, warm up, no? May mga katanungan ba kayo sa aming lahat, no? Sino gusto magtanong una? I think I'll go first. Pa. Ah, sure. Go ahead. Uh, since I mentioned din po in the previous episode na yun nga po isa sa mga role model ko si Attorney Gabby, I'll ask her. So, um, what is the legal question in Tenet versus Ermita? Charit. Just for our final project. Pero like, <laughs> kailangan talaga namin ng tulong. Pero to be honest, um, a serious question is like, um, what would be your advice for youth like us who are being disillusioned with the flaws of our legal system and how it approaches um, inequalities and uh, social uh, problems in our society. Ang bigat-bigat naman ang katanungan. Thank you very Grand much. Final. Thank you very much for that question. Unfortunately, the problems that trouble our legal system has been there since time immemorial. Yun din ang sabi ng tatay ko sa akin, wag ka na maglo kasi it's a marketplace. But if you think about it, kung hindi tayo sasabak, sino iiwan natin? Ang mga corrupt? Kaya ang mga tulad natin na malinis at matuwid dapat pa rin sumabak at makipaglaban. Slow Thank clap. you. Slow clap tayo. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that question. Just ko, ang hirap namang mag-contest at at-post dito. Ready, ready ka sa ready. kasagutan mong yun, no? At ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our pabilisan round next here on K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check grand finals. And after the first round, meron tayong nangunguna na si Tamara with 30 points, Charlene, Asher, and Hannah closely trailing behind with 20 points each. Kaya maganda ang laban pa rin. Maganda ang laban. Mahirap talaga kung mga best of the best ang naglalaban. And since it's their opportunity to ask questions now and probably the only opportunity, Charlene, Meron ka bang gustong tanungin sa isa sa ating mga panel of experts? At sino ang gusto mong tanungin? Si Ma'am Glessy po. Okay. Go. Anong question mo kay Ma'am Glessy? Hi, Ma'am. Um, ano pong play ang gusto nyo pong makita adapted into film in your lifetime? Siguro, uh, gusto kong... Gusto kong makita yung... Uh, play na tungkol sa uh, migrant teachers. No, ito yung isang play na ginawa namin, yung teacher ng bayan, kasi uh, covered nito ang lahat ng isyu ng lipunan na hinaharap natin ngayon mula sa brain drain, unemployment, uh, middle level service education, and I think it's something na kailangan nating makita kahit sa Maraming salamat. Wow. Ang mga contestants natin, hindi lang magaling sumagot ng mga katanungan, magaling din pala magtanong. Correct. Gusto ko yung silence, na no? Parang seryoso talaga itong pangyayaring ito ngayon. We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, now more than ever, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin. This is it, guys. Question number one. Who became the first president of the KKK or the Katipunan in October 1892? Hannah. Andres Bonifacio. Male. Asher. Teodoro Plata. Male. Ang tamang sagot, Giordato Arellano. Question number two. The phrase, an eye for an eye, originated from what ancient text or book? Charlene? The Code of Hammurabi. Okay, check. Question number three. In sports, which team won the first PBA Conference Championship in July 1975? Ang tamang sagot, Toyota. 
Question number four. What Spanish song by Luis Fonsi became a number one hit? Asher? Despacito. Okay, check. Tapusin ko lang sagot. One hit more than in, more, in more than 40 countries in 2017. Question number five. Which city in the Western Hemisphere is second only to Paris as the world's most populous French-speaking city? Charlene? Montreal. Okay, check. Montreal. Question number six. Which president declared the Philippines under martial law on September 21, 1944? Hannah? Justado Makapagal. Mali. Asher? Jose P. Laurel. Okay, check. Question number seven. What is the name of the longest river of the USA, which is also the name? Charlene? Mississippi River. Malay. Which is also the name of the 24th state of the Union. Asher? Colorado River. Malay. The correct answer is the Missouri River. Okay. Longer by 100 miles than the Mississippi River. Next, question number eight. Corregidor Island politically belongs to what province or city? Asher. Bataan. Malay. Charlene? Cavite. Okay, check. Question number nine. Which former colony was handed over to China by Portugal in 1999? Asher. Macau. Okay, check. Question number ten. In anatomy, what do you call the colored tissue at the front of the eye that lets the proper amount of light through an opening and into the eye? Tamara? Pupil. Malik. Charlene. Retina. Malik. Asher. Iris. Kate. Question number 11. Who received almost 3 million popular votes more than Donald Trump? Asher. Joe Biden. Malik. During the 2016 U.S. presidential elections. Okay, sorry. Okay. Time's up. Correct answer is Hillary Clinton. Last question for this round. Nitrogen and oxygen are the two most common gases in the Earth's atmosphere. At slightest less than 1%, what is the third most abundant gas in the atmosphere? The correct answer is argon. And that's it for our K-Check Pabilisan Round. At talagang nakaka-stress itong round na to. As of now, ang ranking ng ating mga contestants, Charlene and Asher are tied at 60 points each. Tamara has 20 and Anna has 0. Except that it's still too early in the game. Correct. Oo, may round 3 pa may at round... maraming katanungan na inananda ang ating mga eksperto. Pero I understand, meron pa rin katanungan ang isa sa ating mga contestant, si Tamara has a question for one of our experts. Uh, tanong ko po kay Ma'am Roque, dahil kayo po yung prof ko dati. And like, wala pa masyadong chance na makausap kayo ng ganito. And wala akong seryosong tanong specifically, pero naisip ko sa dahil kanina minention yung sagot na squash, na napaisip tuloy ako ng pagkain. And like, inaisip ko, like, anong pong pagkain yung gusto nyo? Like, yung favorite na food nyo? Pwedeng dessert, pwedeng savory dishes, kayo po bahala. Hindi ako ganong matakaw eh. Pero siguro ano, something I like, I crave, um, lechon or paksiw na lechon. Wow. Parang biglang nagutom Iba. din yata. Tsaka pampangan ako, gusto ko ng masasarap na food. Kaya nga pa eh. Good thing po lechon paksiw. Dahil nang narinig ko lechon, wow. Yung ano, gusto ko sana kay gawan ng pagkain rin one time eh. Kaya, kaya, kaya natakot ako ng lechon. Kasama kami sa ano, <laughs> Natakot ako sa lechon. Paano ko gagawin yung lechon? Gusto kong kumain. Lechon paksiw. Ang pwedeng gawin ni Tamara. Sige. Para pagluluto mo ako. Pagluluto mo ako. Uh -huh. Pumpkin soup. Gusto. Oh, pumpkin soup. Try rin. Maganda rin yun. Pwede na rin yun. Pumpkin soup and paksiw na lechon. Correct. Basta kasama tayo. Basta kasama. Lahat ng nandito <laughs> sa mundong ito. <laughs> Thank you. Ha? Kasi hindi, niya, hindi ko siya pinahirapan. Hindi niya ako pinahirapan sa tanong. Totoo naman. Hmm. This time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet. Ilang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K Check. K -check.
Welcome back! Mag-points recap muna tayo. Charlene has 60 points, Asher has 60 points, Tamara has 20 points, at si Hannah ay hahabol yan sa round na ito. Attorney. And it's still early. Pwede pa talagang humabol. But, mm -hmm. ito na ang final chance for one of our contestants to ask a question from one of our panel of experts bago natin umpisahan ang round kung saan sila ay tatanungin na talaga ng mga experts sa ating final round. Si Hana ang magtatanong sa isa sa ating mga experts. Sino ang tatanungin mo at anong question mo? Kay Prof. Neil po. Okay, so my question is, in your opinion, ano po ang isang historical event sa ating mundo na nag-shape ng kung ano man ang nangyayari na ngayon sa ating political climate? Sa akin yung digital revolution. Uh, yung ICT. So basically, yun yung nag-define ng globalization sa kasalukuyang konteksto. Short and sweet yung sagot niya. Napaka-short no? niya. Mm. Pag-isipan muna natin. Pwede, no? But we don't have time because now, it's time for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan, our last for this season. In this round, correct answers are worth 30 points. Wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito sa mga professors na ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang first ever K-Check champion natin. And for the last time in this season, contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! And now for the first question for the last round of this season. Professor Glessy, ang tanong. Okay, <clears throat> eto na. Usapang language. Okay? This language is often called the bridge language or the common language between speakers who do not share a common language. What do you call this social language? Charlene. Lingua Franca. Okay, check. The answer is lingua franca. Professor Neil. Ano ang naging pinakamalaking hamon sa Munich Olympic Games noong 1972? Asher? The boycotts, uh, uh, boycotts done during the Olympics from uh, part uh, particular participating nations. Maling sagot? Yes. The apartheid. <laughs> Maling sagot? Ang tamang sagot ay dapat terorismo. May maling sagot na 11 na atletang hudyo at ginawa ito ng isang grupo ng mga teroristang Arabo. Next question, Prof. Marian. Okay, I'm sure masakit ng ulo niyo so usapang gamot. One classification of drugs is through their route of administration. How do you call drugs which are directly applied on affected areas and affect... Hana. Topical. Okay, examples will be ointments and creams. Topical, K-check. Painit ng painit ang laban. Back to Prof. Glessy. Usapang pelikula ulit. Okay. This Lino Broca film exposed the fanatical paramilitary groups which terrorized... Charlene? Ora pro nobis. Should I continue the question? Okay. Um, which terrorized barrios in the hinterlands of the country during the post-EDSA revolutionary period. It has been screened privately and has not been commercial, commercially screened since... It was banned due to its subversive message. It has won international awards, such as the director's fortnight in Cannes, 1989. Correct answer is Ora Pronobis. K-check. K-check. Naku, nakikita natin na merong lead. But still, we have many more questions to go. Next question, Professor Neil. Ang bansang United Kingdom ay may tatlong babaeng Prime Ministers. Ang tanong ay magbigay ng dalawang babaeng nagsilbing Prime Ministers ng United Kingdom. Margaret Thatcher at Theresa May. Uh, 
Tatlong posibleng sagot na sabi ni ni Asher, si Margaret Thatcher mula 1979 hanggang 1990, si Theresa May na humarap sa Brexit mula 2016 hanggang 2019, at ang pinakahuli, ang predecessor na kasulukuyang Prime Minister si Liz Truss na nagsilbi lang less than two months. Salamat, Professor Neil. Back to Professor Marian. Usapang math, what number between 2020 and 2030 is divisible by 9? Asher, 2025. Okay, a number is divisible by 9 if its digits, okay, the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. So between 2020 and 2030, 2025, okay, the digits are 2025, the sum is 9, that's divisible by 9, so 2025 is correct. Okay, check. Talagang umiinit ang labanan dito. Prof. Glessy. Uh, usapang literature mula sa si regions. Okay. Uh, Filomena Hubalde is one of the last singers of the Laji an ancient song which is traditionally recited in community occasions. Where is the home of this ancient song called Laji? Ang tamang sagot ay ang pinaka-northern part ng ating bansa sa Batanes sa hanay ng mga Ivatan. We learn something new every day. Prof. Neil, ang tanong. Anong bansa sa Asia ang dumanas ng genocide mula 1975 hanggang 1979 na nagresulta sa pagpaslang ng halos dalawang milyong tao? Hana? Myanmar? Maling sagot? Charlene? Cambodia? Ang tamang sagot ay Cambodia, Kaycha. Naku. Question, Professor Marian. Okay. What sugar in beer undergoes metabolism by yeast during fermentation? Hana? Sucrose. So, um, the main sugar in beer which undergoes metabolism by yeast during fermentation is maltose, but there are other sugars like fructose, glucose, and sucrose. So, okay, check. So, eto na. We now enter the last round of questions from our panel of experts at malalaman na natin kung sino ang first ever K-Check champion natin. Prof. Glessy? Okay. Tungkol sa political theater. Okay. What is the title of this famous seditious play by Aurelio Tolentino which chronicled the challenges of colonial rule in the 1900s? Sagot ay kahapon, ngayon, at bukas. Salamat sa tanong na yon. Next, Prof. Neil. Ano ang tawag sa Philippine Army Contingent sa United Nations Command sa digmaang Koreano noong early 1950s? Tamang sagot ay Philippine Expe Expeditionary Force to Korea or PEFTOP. And for the last question. Last na ito. Math na. Okay. A pentagon is a polygon with five sides. A pentadecagon has 15 sides. How many sides does an enyadecagon have? Asher, 200. Mali. So, baka dapat to tawagin ding nona decagon. The correct answer is 19. Thank you, Prof. Marian. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Challenge. 
Wow, and that wraps up our Cake Check Ultimate Pagalingan Challenge. To award the prizes, we'd like to call on the Executive Director of TVUP, Professor Emeritus Grace Javier Alfonso. Wow. Baka iuwi na yan ni Janelle. Para okay to. Since alam na rin natin kung sino ang nanalo, congratulations to our first ever K-Check champion, Charlene, with a final score of 150 points. She will receive a laptop courtesy of TVUP and a trophy designed by Professor Alfonso herself. Thanks to, thanks to Asher, Hannah, and Tamara for joining and to our members ng panel of experts natin, of Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Marian. And of course, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat for staying with us all season long. At habang nagkakasiyahan dito, gusto ko rin magpasalamat sa iyo, Janelle. Sana ay magkasama pa tayo ulit next time sa so next season. This is K-Check. Thank you, Attorney Gabby. I'm sure may next time pa ito, di ba? Dahil dito sa K-Check as a TVUP, naniniwala tayo na pagdating sa teaching and learning, hashtag my forever. Thank you again everyone. This, is, this has been Junella Bor. And this has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Until next season, here on K-Check! K -Check.